To unlock cosmetics in Attack and Quest, you have to do the corresponding achievements. In this video I'll explain how to do each achievement and what they unlock. There's 11 achievements in the game altogether, so I'll try my best to be as quick as possible. If you're struggling with one achievement in particular, here are the timestamps, which I'll also put in the description. First achievement, Splendid Salute. A lot of people struggled with this one, and granted, it is quite fiddly, but it is very easy to be done. Just make sure you're in single player, not multiplayer, and hold your right hand all over your heart with the blades facing forward. Your left hand can be anywhere behind your back, it doesn't matter. If done successfully, a blue circle will appear in front of you and you need to hold the salute until the loading circle is complete. Completing this achievement grants you customizable airlines. Achievement 33. This achievement is done by finishing the 10 targets course in under 33 seconds. The timer starts as soon as you spawn on the map. I can't tell you how to get better at the game, but if you're struggling to do the achievement in under 33 seconds, just try a different route. I also have an in-depth guide on fastest 10 targets. Finishing this achievement unlocks the Sparkle Trail, which, FYI, is not the same as Lightning. The Floor is Lava. This achievement is done by finishing the 10 targets without touching the floor, and don't worry, spawning in the map doesn't count. If you want to be super safe, you can just grapple from each target once at a time like this. This achievement grants you the Diamond Pattern Handles. I didn't mention this in my fastest 10 targets video, but if you're absolutely sure you have done these two achievements but haven't received the cosmetics, it's probably because you're doing it on training, not fastest 10 targets. Make sure you're doing the achievements in the fastest 10 targets map, not in training. Don't worry if this is you, you're not alone, many people make this mistake. Double digits. All you have to do is get 10 lifetime kills. It shouldn't be that difficult for you. It doesn't matter if you die or not, just get 10 kills. Targets don't count. This achievement unlocks customizable trails. For Sparta. This is Sparta! This one is 300 lifetime kills. Again, targets don't matter and it doesn't matter if you die or not. Just get 300 Titan kills. This might take you anywhere from minutes to hours depending on how good you are at the game. This achievement unlocks customizable blades. Fulcrum. 1000 lifetime kills. If you're a beginner at the game, this might take you a couple of days. Finishing this achievement unlocks the blood trail. Perk. 10,000 lifetime kills. This could take weeks or even a couple of months depending on how good you're at the game and how much free time you have. This is how you get the legendary lightning trails you see me and other people use all the time. 10 streaks normal. Pretty self-explanatory. Get 10 kills in normal mode, not hardcore, without dying once. You can kill two birds with one stone and do this achievement whilst doing the double digits achievement. This achievement grants you a lightning pattern handle. 10 streak hardcore. Again, pretty self-explanatory. Get 10 titan kills in hardcore mode without dying once. This gets you the checker plate pattern handle. 100 streak hardcore. Kill 100 titans in hardcore mode without dying. This is probably one of the most difficult achievements to get. If you don't know what the difference between hardcore and normal mode is, basically hardcore has a higher spawn rate of abnormals. There's no user interface, so no crosshairs, no fuel indicator, etc, etc. You can't run after being grabbed, and the titans have to be dealt 250 damage to die. All I can say is take your time, and you can take breaks by finding a safe spot on the map and turning off your headset. Completing this achievement gives you a camo pattern handle. The Solo Armoured Kill Probably the most difficult of all the achievements, killing the Armoured Titan in single player. Open either Training, Shingen Shima or Utgard Keep and fire the Black Flare and kill the Armoured Titan which has 4000 health in single player. I also have an in-depth Armoured Titan guide on my channel. After you kill the Armoured Titan, you unlock the custom Armoured Grip you can equip on your handles. To equip the cosmetics, just go onto the cosmetics menu in the game. Now it's worth noting, you've probably seen people with completely customised handles, but if you're wondering how to get these, sorry to say you can't anymore. As a thank you to early game supporters, the developer made each member a unique custom blade handle with whatever they wanted. This was a limited time thing, and the developer made around 20 handles altogether. So that's all the achievements in Attack and Quest. If you're still struggling with any of them, just ask me in the comments, or join the official Attack and Quest Discord with the link in the description. Thanks for watching the video, the views I've been getting recently on my channel has just been amazing, so thanks so much to each of you. 
here's to 200 subscribers.